A certified master chef is the pinnacle of the culinary profession. It's the highest recognition you can get in the industry, and if you can get that recognition and you can work and you know you are part of the best. It says to you that you have attained uh, culinary excellence. This is a lifetime of work, a lifetime of building towards it. It's really not a, a, a master chef exam as it is a master cook exam. It's all back to the fundamentals and the skill set of cooking and cooking to the highest degree. This is a whole new ball of wax. It's a serious test, uh, but it's attainable. If you're very quick, you're very talented, you've got a chance to, to work to this level. go into doing something like this, you just have to put your best foot forward and uh, wherever it ends up, um, you know, the judges will, will let us know. It's hard to block out the, the judges. In most of the hot cooking days, there's four hours of preparation and a half an hour of service, of serving the food. And that's the way the exam's structured to uh, prohibit you from having time to really Think about what you're doing. It needs to be part of you. It's a lot to uh, keep in mind. Uh, there's a lot of uh, detail that you have to do. There's a lot of timing that's involved. I, I think the degree of difficulty is, is every day the same because you work on the same amount of pressure and so forth. So it's. It's all in the execution. The execution has to be perfect. It's definitely very intense, uh, intense days, stressful. It's a long day. It's an emotional roller coaster because right now you feel good about something. You feel like you have a good average going into it. You still haven't gotten your tasting critique, and that's real, really where all the money is. I mean, it's in the taste. We want well cooked food, number one. Did they manage the kitchen? You know, did they work neat and clean? Um, we look for the ingredients that we put in the basket to be used properly. It's really the mastery of cookery itself. It's having a person of high integrity that works well in the kitchen, worked well with the apprentices, got along with everybody all week, has a high level of professionalism. Um, so it's a lot of things rolled into one, but at the end of the day, I guess you can call just a very professional cook that is extremely good at his craft. It's really not an impossible task. Uh, it's a, a task that requires a a commitment to solid cooking skills and fundamentals. It isn't the end of a journey, it's just the, begin it's the beginning of a new one, it's a new chapter, you know. Lots of hard work, lots of sacrifice, uh, many, many days without a uh, day off. A lot of practice, a lot of study. Practice hard, real hard. Train hard, you know, put yourself in environments where everyone's better than you. Um, physical fitness is definitely a key um, to being in good health. Practice every competency time and time again, develop your style, um, kind of know what you're going to do when you go into it. <laughs>